now this is another variety of adversarial search which is called alpha beta pruning what happened in the previous example uh, we have to search all the tree along to get the result of this eight right and we'll get the path so that the opponent and the player will uh, uh, play and get the result of eight now here if we we'll talk about in the alpha beta pruning it says that can we minimize the number of search here so that we can reduce the memory and we can reduce the time so quickly we can find out the solution and without putting much space so to fulfill that particular objective we have a procedure which is called alpha beta pruning in the alpha beta pruning search actually what we do is uh, we use some conditions if these conditions satisfy we say we doesn't have to look for the remaining tree okay so what are the condition so in the alpha beta pruning let me tell you there are three variable that we'll use one is called v v that is same as what we have used previously second thing that we use here is alpha and the next one is beta so v is individually initialized for all the nodes now the alpha and beta what is alpha and beta alpha is for maximizer and beta value is for minimizer so if we'll see the algorithm of alpha beta pruning over there we have a condition like if v value is greater than or equal to beta value for the maximizer if it is there then the remaining part will be prone if that condition does not satisfy we give the value of alpha what value the value in between v and alpha whoever is maximum will give the value to alpha in the minimizer node we'll see the condition v is greater than sorry v is less than or equal to alpha or not if it is there then we'll prone the remaining tree we are not going to search another node and we'll not going to compare anything and we give the value of beta to minimum of v and beta if it is not satisfied if it is satisfied we just prone in the same way in the maximizer again we have to go for the condition that is v is greater than equal to beta or not if it is then will prone or will avoid the remaining tree to be compared otherwise what we do is we give alpha to the maximum value in between v and alpha okay so max is all about alpha min is all about beta next thing the value of v will be initialized by minus infinite for the maximizer and v will be initialized plus infinite for the minimizer likewise alpha and beta also goes in that way so whatever the value of uh, alpha will be for the maximizer it is minus infinite and for the minimizer the value of beta uh, will be uh, plus infinite in that way it goes on so let's start the procedure of alpha beta pruning now we are starting here with the uh, root node and we have to traverse from the left left node left root right in that way we have to traverse in a in order traversing left root right left root right in that way we have so when if we are in the root nodes definitely we have to go to the uh, extreme uh, left node then will do the traversing now here what is the value of v so for the max definitely value of v will be minus infinite what is the value of alpha previously the value of alpha is minus infinite 
What is the value of beta? Value of beta is always plus infinite. For this node also, the same thing will be done. Value of V will be plus infinite because it is a minimizer. It will start with plus infinite. For alpha, it is minus infinite. And for beta, it is plus infinite. Okay. Now, if you come here in this, here also, it's a maximizer. So it will start with minus infinite. The value of alpha will be minus infinite and value of beta will be plus infinite. In that way, for that node also has been done. Now come to the left part. Left part is a terminal part and having the value 4. 4 will be coming here for the comparison. So 4 will be coming here. Now from where it will is going to compare, it will going to always compare with B like a min max. So in the previous example, we have seen in the min max, the value will be compared with B. Here also the value will be compared with B and we are looking for the maximum because it is a maximizer. Now, with the value of B minus infinite and four, who is the maximum? Definitely four is the maximum. So that minus infinite will be changed to four. After that, after every change of V, we have to look for the condition. And what is the condition? Condition says that V is greater than equal to B. Is V is greater than equal to B? Four. So four is greater than equal to B, which is plus infinite. No, four is not greater than infinite. So it is not satisfied. So we'll not do any pruning. Instead, what we'll do, we can just give the value of alpha to the maximum of B or alpha. So what is the maximum of B and alpha? Definitely four is maximum between B and alpha. So four will be given to alpha. Now go to the right part. Right part means 8. 8 has to be fetched here and 8 will be compared with V. So whichever is the maximize, maximum, so 4 and 8, definitely 8 will be the maximum. The 4 will be converted to 8. Again, if we change the value of V, we have to look for the condition. V is greater than or equal to beta. 8 is greater than or equal to infinite. No, 8 is not greater than or equal to infinite. Then change the value of alpha to the maximum of V value or alpha value. So V value is 8, alpha value is 4, V value is maximum 8. So we'll just change the value of alpha to 8. Now we have done with these two nodes, we have done with this particular node, then we'll go to the root node of that. By taking the value, what value we'll take here is 8. So now this 8 will be compared with this V. What is the value of V plus infinite? And this will be compared with 8. Whoever is minimum because we, we are in the max minimizer right now. So whoever is minimum, definitely 8 is the minimum. So this plus infinite will be replaced with 8. Now, after replacing the value of V, we have to compare. And what, what value we have to compare here is this value. V is less than or equal to alpha. V is less than or equal to alpha. 8 is less than or equal to minus infinite. No, 8 is more than minus infinite. So we are not going to change the value of beta. Instead, sorry, we are not going to prone anything. Instead, we'll change the value of beta. If that uh, problem, is that uh, condition satisfied, so we'll prone. If that condition doesn't satisfy, so we have to change the value of beta. The value of beta to minimum of that. So whatever the value previously, it was plus infinite and 8. Whichever is minimum, 8 is minimum. So 8 will be given to this beta. Now we'll go because this value has been done from the left part. Now go to the right part. If we'll go to the right part, so what will happen? What is the value of B here? So the value of B here, it will be, uh, let's, let's uh, write down uh, here the value of B. The value of B here for this particular node is because it's a maximizer, it will be minus infinite. What is the value of alpha? We'll take it from that side. Because in the algorithm, we are fetching the value from the root node. So it is minus infinite. What is the value of beta? It is 8 that we are putting for that particular node. Now we'll go to the left part. 9 will be fetched up. 9 and minus infinite. Whoever is maximum, definitely 9 is the maximum. Because we are in the maximizer. So 9 will be replaced with uh, the value of minus infinite of the V. So I think you understand that. Now after that, uh, we have to compare the value. V is greater than or equal to B, beta, V, V. What is V? 9. 
9 is greater than equal to 8. Yes, so condition satisfied. So we have to do proning. Proning means we are not going to fetch that particular part. Right, that is proning. We are avoiding the next tree, whatever the next tree will come. Why? Because even if we take this, the value of b is not going to change. The value of b is not going to change. And here also the value of b is not going to change. That's why we are not going to consider the whatever the node or whatever the tree which is left after that. So what is the value that will go here from here? It is 9. So 8 and 9. So 8 is already there. 9 will be compared with 8. Where is minimum? Because we are talking about minimizer. So minimum is 8. Again 8. Right. So it is not going to change. Now the 8 will, because we have done with this, we will go to the root node again. The 8 will be given to the root node. Now it is coming here. We have to look for the maximizer. The value of B is minus infinite here. Minus infinite is compared with 8. Minus infinite and 8. Whichever is larger, definitely 8 is larger. So we, we have to pick up the large value, right? So this minus infinite will be replaced with 8. Now, whenever we do a replacing or whenever we change the value of V, we have to compare. Compare with V. V is greater than or equal to B. 8 is greater than or equal to plus infinite. What is the beta value? Is minus in plus infinite. So plus infinite is definitely more than that. That condition does not satisfy. Will not do any pruning. Instead, we'll change the value of alpha to the maximum of that. So what was the value of alpha previously? Is minus infinite. Minus infinite and 8, it will be 8. Who is the maximum? 8 is the maximum, right? So that will be done. Now after that, this value has been done. Now we have to go to the root part of, uh, sorry, right part of that. Here we'll start with the value of B. What is the value of B here is? For the minimizer, we'll start with positive alpha, or positive infinite, and the value of alpha and beta will fetch from the uh, root node. So what was the uh, alpha value? Here it is 8. And what was the beta value here? It is uh, positive infinite. Now, if you'll see the value of here, uh, which is V, uh, if you'll compare it, so what is that? Is plus infinite is less than equal to 8? No. Infinite is not less than 8. So we'll not uh, uh, do anything, right? And uh, what, where is minimum? So because both the values, so we'll not do anything. Now we'll have to go to the left part again uh, because we are doing the traversing in order traversing left, root, and right. So go to the left part. And what is the value here for V for the max? It is minus infinite. And the value that we'll take from here, that is alpha is 8 and beta value is plus infinite. Okay. Now we have the terminal node. 2, 2 will be come will be coming here in the uh, uh, in the root node of it to compare for the maximizer for the with the value of v. V is minus infinite will be compared with 2. It will be, whoever is maximum, definitely 2 is the maximum. So 2 will come here. Yes? So now where we are? Uh, we, are we have just fetched the value of 2 compared with v and changed the value of v which is the maximum because uh, we have a maximizer here. So we have to compare with minus infinite and 2 whoever is maximum. So definitely 2 is the maximum. So we have given the value. Now this v will be compared with the Condition. The condition is V is greater than or equal to beta or not. 2 is greater than or equal to infinite or not. Definitely it is not. So we'll change the value of alpha in uh, alpha of the maximum of B and alpha. So maximum of alpha is 8. 8 is already there. So we doesn't have to do anything. It will be there. Now we'll go to the right hand side part. Right hand side part is minus 2. Minus 2 will be fetched and compared with V. V is 2. So 2 and minus 2, whoever is larger, definitely 2 is the larger one. So 2 will be given the uh, uh, given the value here. And uh, if we we'll do again comparison, it doesn't uh, matter. Now we'll get 2. 2 will be given to the root node. So 2 will be given here. Uh, the root node will be getting the value. Now that minimizer, minimizer will compare the value with 2 with plus infinite. Plus infinite and 2. Whoever is minimum? Because it is a minimizer. So it will go for the minimum value. So definitely 2 is the minimum. So the value will be changed to 2. Now after changing the value, we'll go for this condition. This condition says that V is less than or equal to alpha. It is 2 is less than or equal to 
8. Yes, 2 is less than or equal to 8. Less than. So, it's a condition that will satisfy the pruning. So, whatever the tree left, we are not going to compare. So, these part will be pruned. Now, if this part will be pruned, what is the value that is fetching here is 2. Now, 8 was already there, 2 is coming. Now, 8 will be compared with 2. Whatever is maximum, maximum is 8. Definitely. So, what we got at last, we got the value of V. And how we'll get the particular value of V? We get the value of V by this path. What is the path here is? This is. And this is the path. From here, this is the path. And we'll got the value of V. That is 8. So what happened in this? Here if you'll see, this node, these two node and this node are not being compared, has been avoided, has been prone, right? So if you'll see, if we'll have a small state space and if you can see here, some of the nodes are prone. And if we are looking for the problem, that the state space are exponential, where if we'll use alpha beta pruning, definitely it will help us uh, to minimize the, uh, the memory space and uh, maximize the efficiency of our system. So in this way, this is the way how alpha beta pruning works.